The day after the 4th of July can be very messy at our beaches with people leaving a lot of trash behind. The Surfrider Foundation was out there today for their annual day after the 4th cleanup and partnered with Paddle for Peace to clean the beaches. Our Sean Stiles was there and says volunteers were surprised by what they found. It is the morning after one of the biggest beach days of the year, the 4th of July. And I've been covering this type of cleanup for a long time and the beaches can be very messy. But I gotta tell you, this morning, they are surprisingly clean. Today was relatively clean compared to past years. Surfrider has been doing this for about 20 something years now at this point. Risa Bell is the founder of Paddle for Peace and they're partnering with Surfrider. We've been here for about two hours. We have one trash bag full, which is surprising. Normally within 30 minutes, we have a trash bag full. Now that's not to say there wasn't trash on the beach, just a lot less according to Susan Nosek Fulfer. I think better this year, to tell you the truth. I, I honestly think that it seems a little more cleaned up. There's not a lot of uh, bulky things like big uh, cups with straws. Annalena Hess and Cindy Dietrich were out doing their part this morning. Actually, it looked way cleaner than I imagined, to be honest. Do you think people are getting the message? I hope so. Because I really care about the environment and I've seen a lot of trash on the beaches in the past and it all gets into the ocean which is really bad for all of the life that's happening. In. Jacob L. brought his mom, leading by example in reverse. I am a part of IB the International Baccalaureate Program, so they pretty much require you to get um, community service hours done. But I mean, not only is it do I need it for that? I mean, it's just, it's just something to do. It's something nice, you know, just give back. Once you're done. And it's that team attitude that's keeping our beaches clean. Bryant McMullen, Paddle for Peace. One team, one fight. We all spend time here. Mm -hmm. If you frequent the beach, you see a piece of trash, you pick it up. Uh, I think that's the most important thing, and if we do it together, we keep our beaches this way. Numbers are still coming in on the weight of the trash picked up off the beaches, but I gotta tell you, it appears that the message is getting through to people when they come down to the coastline. Pick up after yourself. We'll send it back to you in the studio.